Renewing old acquaintances is an opening day tradition, but sometimes it's new faces that stir things up. Hand off Elliott, right up the middle, cuts to the right, to the goal line. Zeke Elliott's first NFL touchdown. We got him now, let's go. Come on now. No, we got to turn that a couple knots. Matter of fact, two. The Giants used their own rookie to take the lead. Back, he lobs one right toward the end zone. Shepard goes up for it, and he makes the catch. Touchdown. Way to go get the football. Right, go go. Get... Still, the Giants trailed midway through the fourth quarter when they turned to an old friend for the game's turning point. Calls out the signals. He takes the snap. He looks. He looks. He looks. He throws the building end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Victor Cruz. And he breaks out the salsa for the first time since 2014. On the touchdown to Victor Cruz, the Giants used a three-man route combination against the Cowboys' man-to-man -man defense. Tight end Larry Donnell ran a corner route, clearing out safety Byron Jones. Running back Shane Vereen ran a flat route occupying linebacker Sean Lee. That provided space in the middle of the end zone for Cruz. But the key to the play was Eli Manning's ability to hold linebacker Justin Durant with his eyes, allowing Cruz to slip into the void. The play was meant for me to kind of go five yards, kind of inside and kind of sit in that, in that specific area, but it got kind of cloudy and I saw that middle of the field kind of pop open, so I kind of just made a football play, got in there, Eli. Uh, we were on the same page, and it hit me in stride. Uh, it's one of those deals he might actually get a minus on the on the actual route uh, because he, you know, technically not supposed to do what he did, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. Playing with a fourth quarter lead, new head coach Ben McAdoo faced a similar situation to the one Tom Coughlin faced in last year's opener against the Cowboys. If the Giants run this thing here, which I'd be shocked if they don't, Cowboys should get the ball back at around 55 seconds. Manning is going to throw. How about that? Play fake in the end zone. Had to throw it away. My gosh. That just saved the Cowboys 40 seconds. Six plays later, Tony Romo struck. Fumbled by Romo. Picks it up, has a shot in the end zone. It's caught. Jason Witt. Bad clock management cost the Giants that game and half a dozen others last year. McAdoo wasn't about to let that happen again. Same thing as last year, we're going out from that, run that run. It isn't complicated. Find a horse, saddle him up, and ride. The Giants called seven clock-killing runs in a row. They didn't run out the clock, but they'd seen the light and left the Cowboys with no margin for error. Giants up 20 to 19, 12 seconds to go. The shotgun set, he's back to throw. He sidearms one right and wide open along the right side and caught, but he didn't go out of bounds, is Terrence Williams. Now the Cowboys hustle on the line, three seconds, two seconds. They're not going to get the playoff. Ball game over. Williams didn't go out of bounds. He cut back to the middle of the field. If Terrence Williams had yeah. turned right wow. instead of left, they would have had at least one more play. Breaking the huddle, he was already third and 13, and so um, in my mind, I was trying to make the first guy miss, but then just dive out of bounds, but he just didn't go, and go as planned. I should have just followed the rules and just went out of bounds. Great job finding a path to victory. All right, that's what it's all about in this league, finding that path to victory. Eli, break us down. Hey, hey. Game ball, game ball, first win right here. Yeah.